Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are back with a brand new mini series. Yeah, welcome to Snack, Snack Showdown. Showdown. Each episode in this series will be pitting British items versus American items. Yep, on my recent trip to America, I thought it was the perfect opportunity to get some of these items. And it is so surprising how many items we have that are either the same name, the same look, the same brand, but there are slight differences. Yeah, or there's a, a product that seems almost exactly the yeah. same, but has a completely different name. In each episode, we're gonna see who has the best version of each snack. We are also going to do a blindfolded taste test, so it's nice and fair. Don't want any bias is here we don't want anyone just picking the uk because that's where we're from no exactly in this first episode we've got doritos versus doritos we've got lays versus walkers and whoppers versus maltesers i'm really excited for this one because this is especially the whoppers at the end that is something people always say or what are they what are maltesers like yeah and it's whoppers should we start with lays let's start with lays and i've done some little card with some information not loads of information uh, and i might grab some more information on some of them from wikipedia oh from the wikipedia hopefully wikipedia is right otherwise i'm giving false information Wiki but starting with lays Lay's USA produced by Frito Lay with the owner being PepsiCo. Ah, interesting. Introduced Lay's in 1932 by a salesman, Herman Lay. So that is the original guy who yeah. came up with the chips. So in 1932, Herman W. Lay started a small business in Nashville, Tennessee, selling potato chips by a company in Atlanta, Georgia. Six years later, Herman bought that company to form H.W. Lay and Company. Oh, interesting. So there we go. Okay, and then Walker's was founded in 1948. So that is 16 years later in Leicester by Henry Walker, sold in 1970 to Standard Brands, and then 1989 acquired by PepsiCo. Ah, Walkers aren't anywhere as near as old as I thought they were. I thought they were quite- I thought they were really old, yeah. but 1948, yes, it's old, but it's yeah. really not that old, really. Should we look at the bags? Yes, let's. It's actually pretty hard these days to find like a normal size bag of crisps. And I will actually say I found this in America as well. I had to find most of these items in the gas station a lot easier. Yeah. And I think it was a Walgreens. Target just sells party bags. Yeah. The first Lay's I picked up was like this big <laughs> and I would have been able to get three things back. And then in the UK, unless you go to a corner shop or yeah. a petrol station, it's a lot harder as well. So I've got here a little multi-pack bag and notice how I'm green. You're green and I'm blue. Apparently they deny that they used to be blue, salt and vinegar. Any UK people out there agree with me? It definitely did. I don't remember I that. don't know why it's they It's everyone them. else's blue for salt and vinegar. Yes. Like golden wonder. But maybe they wanted to stand out and be different. If you know the answer, let us know. Because but... to me, if I see this, I think cheese and onion. Yeah, it's a slightly yeah. different shade, but... Yeah, me too. They practically do look the same though. Yeah. We've got like a selection around the outside. Can we just say before we do the taste? Oh yes, sorry. They look very different. Don't you think the American ones yeah. are much paler? Whoa, That's there a is one. a difference. Do you want to go first, Dan? I'll go first, yeah. Crisp one. I'll go for smallish one so you can actually fit them in your mouth. And I'm not a big salt and vinegar eater, so I don't even have like a knowledge on the UK ones. Do you at the moment think that's UK or America? Um, I like it. I think that's UK. Can you taste much of a difference? The second one is much stronger. I think the second one is UK and I prefer that one because it's actually got more flavour. You are correct. Yes. Well done, Alex. I don't know why, but I felt like ours would have a stronger flavour. Funny you saying that, because when you first said stronger flavour, mm. I thought you thought it was American. No. Because I think like in the past, we've always thought like America has stronger flavour, but I also think that UK has lots of natural flavours, which is why sometimes it tastes more strong. I feel like when we've had salt and vinegar in America before, it is slightly more understated, which is funny because a lot of the other flavours are very bold. Bold and purple, right. yeah. You close your eyes. Can you okay. be trusted? Yep. That's quite big actually. Yeah, make them small. You can fold it and cut it in half. Oh, dear. I don't open my right, mouth. Right, go for it. Open your mouth. I think I'm like one that's hard, you know. Second one, open mouth. First one is UK. Yeah. Second one. And but how much of that knowledge is based on the fact that I said. The I know, UK was I was stronger. about to say, you probably should give your explanation <laughs> after we've both. Yeah. 
But how I noticed was the aftertaste. Really? I felt like I could really taste the lay in the second one. I don't mean powdery as in they've got a powder on them. I think because they're so thin and a little pale. There's something about the potato that is very much lay. Mm. It is different. And That's I see how what you I mean. got it a at bit the of end. An aftertaste, yeah. Both very nice. It's just in America, we've had much saltier salt and vinegar. Yeah. I do think from the UK, we do salt and vinegar really well. We've got some really fiery packets. If I was in America and I was wanting salt and vinegar, I'd get like a Cape Cod or something. Mm -hmm. They do like a Haven't we done like cracking, pink Himalayan? Yeah, they do a cracking salt and vinegar crisp out of the two of them, which would you pick? UK. I'm gonna say UK too. Yeah. Okay, round one goes to UK. Doritos. Doritos. UK wins bag size. But if you were to go... <laughs> no, I didn't know that was a competition. Otherwise, I would have said this one, the bag size. But I mean, this is our UK, like, party bag. That's as big as we're getting there. Yeah. But in Target, that was humongous. Probably double the size of So, that. differences, they are both blue, and, like, the logo is almost exactly the same. But this is, like, a matte shine. Yeah. You know those cars? Like a sheen. You know those cars you're talking about? Kind of like that. It looks cool, though, doesn't it? This just shiny bag is starting to look dated and it allows the Dorito logo to stand out more, yeah. doesn't it? Interesting, we say cool original flavor corn chips and this says cool ranch flavored. And you can actually see on the chip how different that is yeah. to that. Doritos USA produced by Frito-Lay introduced Cool Ranch in 1986. That's when Cool Ranch came cool. out. So Frito-Lay is like um, part of like PepsiCo. Did yeah. you know that? Yeah. But um, in the UK, it said produced by PepsiCo. We don't have, I Frito think, Lay. that Frito-Lay. Yeah. So we're the PepsiCo part. And this flavor was also introduced in 1986. Oh, so exactly same time. Exactly the same time. It's called Cool Ranch in America. Cool Original in England. And in Europe, apparently it's called Cool American. <laughs> How funny. So there's three cool something floating around. In the UK, ranch isn't very popular. Well, so that's if you why... said cool ranch, yeah. you'd be like, what's that? Cool original, because I think these were one of the first flavours we got. Yeah. And then cool American, I guess, because well, people said, don't know ranch. Because people but don't know American ranch. Sauce. And... Should we crack in? Yeah, we are 100% going to notice the difference. I think so. We? Oh, let's smell yours. When was the last time you had these cool original? Didn't we have a fajita night where we couldn't get yeah. nachos? Probably then. You can tell. Can tell a Cool difference. Ranch has um, a lot more like specks of that red. Would you like to go first this time? Yep. First one up. I'm pretty sure that's UK. No one's going to believe that we're keeping our eyes closed properly. Second one. That's Ranch. But I think for this round, America is winning. Really? Mm-hmm. Open. <laughs> is it not really obvious to you? Yeah, the second one is the American one. Yeah. Mm. It's got so much more flavour. Yeah. But again, it does have a slight aftertaste. Maybe it's because I'm just not used to it. The original cool UK one is so bland compared to the American one. I do one. like the original one, but it has nothing on the no. American. There's so much more flavour Cool Ranch is so much better. And like, if this it really is the same company, why aren't you giving us the Cool Ranch? Maybe as we don't get ranch here, they don't think we'd like it. But it's like, you can still give us the flavour and call it Cool Original. Yeah. Like, why have they toned it down? So Team USA for round Definitely. two. Round three. Chocolate covered malt balls. <laughs> or Whoppers. I, that's why I gave you the American side, because I wanted you to go, Whoppers. Okay. Do you know what the largest difference is? I'm what? pretty sure. Oh no, can you? Can you get Whoppers in a bag? But anyway, the biggest difference between like candy in America and the UK is like you guys get candy in boxes. <laughs> the only candy we ever get in a box is like a box of chocolates and they're like yeah. truffles and things. We don't have anything come no, in a box. Don't. But isn't that the cutest little branding ever? I really like the um, cream, the yeah. brown. And it's funny, Maltesers decided to go red. They haven't changed it, but did they update it? Because I feel like the it last time we had Whoppers, more... it felt a bit more dated. Whereas this actually feels quite mm. modern. And like he's got a little, little classic... face on. Yeah. Whoppers USA, produced by Hershey's in 1996. It was actually previously Leaf Brands. 1949 is mm. when it was introduced wow. to 1996 was Leaf Brands yeah. and then Hershey's 1996 to 
currently. Maltesers, the owner is Mars Incorporated, introduced in 1937. Wow, so Maltesers were actually first. And it was created by the American Forrest Mars Senior in the UK in 1936 and first sold in 1937. So how ironic. It was made by an American in the UK. Yeah, and I've got some more information here that I needed to read. I feel like nowadays, maybe it's it's been different in the past, but nowadays, say like Cadbury's was bought by a massive company but they tend to leave Cadbury's alone to like just keep Cadbury-ing mm -hmm. you're doing your own thing yeah. but now you're paying our shareholders instead yeah. but I feel like there's a period in history in America where Hershey's was like acquiring different brands oh. under the Hershey brand and I wonder if there's like a group of people who feel like these were better before, before Hershey's bought them. So many of the things when I was doing the notes, yeah. it's been like taken over by Hershey's. Yeah. Like Hershey's owned so much. Forrest Edward Mars Senior was an American billionaire businessman and the driving force of the Mars candy empire. Wow. He is best known for introducing Milky Way and Mars chocolate bars and M&M's chocolate, as well as orchestrating the launch of Uncle Ben's no, Rise. how funny. Char, born in Minnesota and died in Miami, Florida. You he only actually died, oh, he died at 95, that's yeah. amazing. Thanks to him, yeah. like we have so many like chocolate bars and stuff. How interesting. But isn't that amazing? So yeah, these were actually introduced 1937 and they were 12 years later. This will be interesting because obviously we've had Maltesers and we've also tried Whoppers before, but we've never tried them side by side. No, and can I just add, in January 2017, Maltesers officially became available in the United States for the first time, but the factory in Newmarket, Ontario, Canada produces the Maltesers for the North American market. Oh, interesting. So the Maltesers you see, unless it says England, yeah. are probably the Canada ones. Oh, interesting. Isn't that funny? And that's like, I think a lot of you, when you see Cadbury's in America, think it's our British one, but it's not. So if you'd like to get a British candy box, we'll leave a link down below. You know what to do. Right. So there's a colour difference, a shine difference, and size difference. So the Maltesers are slightly bigger, aren't they? Yeah. They're teeny, aren't they, next to them? They're matte and they're much darker. The Whoppers almost look a bit like a kid's rolled up multiple colors of Play-Doh. Like, yeah. I feel like the, the shine definitely gives a better finish. I think so. I think out of all of them, this is gonna be so obvious. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Close your eyes. Missed the landing. <laughs> Too easy, that one. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. The first one was Whoppers, second one was Maltesers. Yep. I won't say anything. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that scared me. Mm. Easy. The malt ball in the middle of the Whopper is much crunchier, more porous almost, and then the one in the Maltesers just literally melts in your mouth as soon as you bite into it. The chocolate is just so much better on the Maltesers than the Whoppers. The chocolate on the Whoppers is like very sweet. The first one I had was Maltesers, the second one was a Whopper. No. Yeah. No. It was. No. It was. <laughs> <laughs> You're not well, letting me you are. I am very definite. Mm. But this is one where I do feel sometimes England might win more because it's like we have been brought up. So yeah. up on the thing. So I'm aware of that because like, a lot of you guys, when you had our boxes, have said you much prefer our Maltesers, but then there's actually been a few of you who say, no, you prefer your Whoppers. So it just shows yeah. sometimes, but I, there is definitely a flavor and a texture yeah. and a taste difference. And I also think the Whoppers are slightly sweeter. They are sweeter. And so if you prefer sweeter, then you're gonna prefer the Whoppers. But for me, I prefer the Maltesers because yeah. they're slightly richer. I'm afraid it's gonna also have to be a UK win here today. Yeah. I do think they're actually much closer than I was expecting them to yeah. be. Yeah. Having tried them separately, I thought there'd be a much bigger difference in them, but they're actually so much closer. It's just slight texture and slight flavor difference. I think it's more the chocolate that wins it. Mm. Oh, Maltesers are so good. We actually have some Maltesers on our website at the moment. So if you wanna do your own taste test, We'll leave a link down yeah. below. Mm. Yeah. So I think at the end of episode one, UK wins just, yeah. but you Two, know, one. those Doritos were pretty special. Well, what we'll have to do is we'll have to tally up each yes. episode. So this episode was 2-1. 
but across the whole series we'll have to do a final episode yep. final count up to see what we think yeah if you've had both of these items do let us know which one you prefer down below so for us this week's winners are walker's salt and vinegar the american cool ranch doritos and the uk maltesers anyway we hope you guys enjoyed our first episode of our mini series snack showdown yeah and if you want to get your hands on any of these british items we'll leave a link down below to our website but we'll see you guys soon bye guys see ya bye